What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Mackie and I know a lot of you probably came here from TikTok because today I'm doing a sketchy neighbor story time part two. So if you're not following me on TikTok, I recommend going back and kind of catching up for what these neighbors have done. Other than that, let's just jump right into this video. So last time I made one of these videos, I talked about the neighbors who had moved in right next door, the super sketchy ones that you see in all my TikToks. But half of that, I say, would be the other sketchy neighbors that live across the street. So I'm going to talk about those neighbors today. So basically, these neighbors that I'm going to be talking about, they've lived there. I've lived in this house my entire life. So as long as I've been here, they've been there. So there's always been stuff that they do. Okay, where do I even start with these people? So up until about, I'd say, two months ago, their house looked like the Adams Family House. I don't even have, know how to describe it. My friends have called it the Monster House. I'll insert a picture or clip right here of what it kind of looks like. It's not their actual house, but I'll just insert it right here. So off the get-go, this house was always just sketchy. Like, all my friends were scared of it. I remember when we were like in second grade, we'd go and ding dong ditch it. And that was kind of the start of everything. I remember one time we ding dong ditched it and the neighbor came out screaming at us to get away from their property, that they were calling the police if we ever did that again. Oh, actually they said just wait here because they were calling the police. But then my mom came out from, our house is directly across the street. She's like, what are you doing? They're just ding dong ditching. Why are you calling the cops? So they didn't end up calling the cops that time, keep in mind. I think I was in like second grade. There were a couple of times I walked up to their front door in elementary school. Is like one of those fundraiser things where you go door to door trying to get people to buy your stuff. So I walked up to their front door and they opened it and all inside the house were new newspapers stacked from top to the ceiling. It was insane. Stacks and stacks and stacks of newspapers. It was terrifying as a kid. I was like, what is going on in there? Nothing really happened significant until I'd say probably like fifth grade. All my friends played hockey, so, and we had a hockey net at my house. So we were out on the street playing street hockey, and every time a car would come, we'd take the net and skate it to the side of the road, let them pass, and then we'd put it back in place. So one day we were out there playing hockey, and all of a sudden we heard a car coming, and we were getting ready to move the net, and then a police car pulls up. And we were like, okay, like this clearly isn't for us. But it turns out he went straight up to us and said, one of the neighbors called and complained and said you guys were hitting your pucks into cars and not letting cars get by you and just causing a whole scene while playing hockey. And we're like, that's not what happened at all. And there were a couple of other neighbors out that were like, no, like we saw the whole thing. They were just playing like, we don't know why the cops would be called on this. And so it turned out the cop literally told us it was the people in that house that had called on us. And we were just like, what the heck? Like, we always do this. Like, why did they call the police on us? And keep, they are older people. Like, at the time, they were probably in their 60s. But we just moved on, didn't say anything until two years later when me and a bunch of my friends were going toilet papering and we all lived in the neighborhood and there were these other kids who lived in the neighborhood that would toilet paper us and we'd go and toilet paper them so it was kind of like a back and forth thing and so we get ready to go it's like 10 o'clock at night we get ready to go toilet papering around the corner and we get over to the house we throw a couple rolls and we hear this helicopter above us and one of my brother's friends who is older than us he was in he's like a freshman in high school he's like oh, we gotta go now, like, we don't want them to see us, like, let's start running back to the house. So we start running back to the house, and as we're running, five police cars come zooming around the corner on their speakers saying, get down on the curb, stop where you are, get down on the curb right now. And so we're like, oh god, and we're like in sixth grade at this point. And so we sit on the curb, the helicopter's going over us with its searchlight on us, on the curb. We're sitting on the curb, and the cop comes up to us and says, what's in your pockets? And we're like, nothing, we just had toilet paper. He's like, what are you doing out here? And we're like, we are just toilet papering our friend. Like we go back and forth, like we weren't doing anything, just toilet papering. And he's like, well, someone called and said you guys had been breaking into cars. Someone said that you broke into this white van parked in front of this house 
and I was like, no, that's my house, that's my dad's van. And he didn't believe me, so my mom had to walk down the street, literally you could see my house from where we were. So she had to walk down and get all of us, and she's like, yes, that is our house, that's our van, no one is breaking in. But once again, they told us it was the people in that exact same house who had called the police, said we were breaking into cars, stealing things, and when we were standing out there getting ready to go, they came out of the house, looked at us, they stared at us, they knew it was us, they went inside their house and called the police. Like, they knew for a fact it was me. We looked at each other. So, they called the police on us, I don't even know why, but that's the second incident. Third incident with these people. This one is like six months ago. But basically, there's this house that, I live on the corner, so there's a house this way, this way, and right next to me. So we, the house over here, like, cat a corner to me. The man who lived there had passed away, unfortunately. He lived there forever. He was a priest. So the house was completely vacant. And I was like, oh, we should go check it out. <laughs> it's completely empty and vacant. Like, and the whole wall is just completely open. So I told my friends, I'm like, we should go check it out. Like, this guy passed away in there. Let's just go look at it for a second. So a couple of my friends come over and we go and do that. So we walk in the house, walk around for about five minutes, and there's nothing cool in there. So we get out of the house, walk back in front of my house, and as we're standing there, five cops pull around the corner and they start yelling, get up against the Jeep. So we're like, okay. So we get up against the Jeep. The helicopter is on its way once again. There's cops pulled straight into the vacant house driveway, getting out of the car, going in, and... The cop says to us, what were you guys doing in there? We got a call that you're stealing materials, doing drugs, and vandalizing. And we're like, we literally walked in for five minutes, checked it out, came out, this is my house right here. The cop didn't believe it was my house, so I had to show my driver's license to show that it was my house. But basically, they confirmed again that those people had called the police on us. So they had called the police on us, saying that we were in there stealing materials, smoking weed, and vandalizing it. And once again, they saw that it was me going in there. I told the cop, I'm like, I knew this guy like for a really long time. He passed away. We just want to check out the house. And then we got out. And so they all left. But the weird, like the part that pisses me off is that those people always go over to that house. Like it's completely done now. But when it was being under construction, like when I went over there, they'd go over there with a big wheelbarrow and start putting all the dirt and construction stuff into their wheelbarrow and take it back over to their house. So I was like, you guys are the ones stealing materials, why are you calling on me? But anyway, I don't know what the deal is with that house, like with those people, they've always been sketchy, they're like at all hours of the night they're outside like walking around in front of the house with bright lights doing something. It's super weird and I think sometimes the screams come from there too. It's like a bunch of people that live in the house. There's like, one of them is like super cool and normal, the daughter, but the parents, and they're just all super weird. I've just always had to be super careful what I do in front of their house or like in my driveway because they get super mad. I honestly think they stole some of my wood too because for the longest time, I think they still might have it out there, but it's this giant pile of materials, like you see wood and all this stuff sticking out of it, and they have this tarp over it. It just looks super sketchy, so I don't know if they've taken some of my wood too, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did. But I don't know what's going on over there. I, it's There's been like sketchy people in front of their house a bunch of times parked in front of it. Like a couple of times I was coming home around like 12 or 1 a.m., and I had to pull into my driveway. I usually park on the street, but I had to pull into the driveway because there were some sketchy people sitting in like trucks and vans staring at me. And I was scared, but they're, then they'd go in the house and it's just like, I don't know what's going on in there. It's, it's super weird. But yeah, and just the fact that they're always outside, like walking around back and forth, pacing, like hiding in the bushes. And like, if I ever try to talk to them at all, they get like super defensive and weird. Like the other night I saw, the other night like an ambulance went over to their house for some reason and it was like 1 a.m. and I was up watching TV. So I saw the ambulance like drive by my house. So I went outside to like look what it was and I saw it was over at their house. So the next day I saw them standing outside. I'm like, 
oh, I saw an ambulance over at your house last night. Like, I hope everyone's okay. And they turn around and they go, what were you up doing so late? Why were you looking at us so late? And I'm like, oh, I was just watching TV and I saw the ambulance and they're like, and they're just like super sketchy that I was like, that I was staying up late and like saw it. So that made me think like, what are they doing over there? What don't they want me to see? It's been sketchy. It's always been the monster house. A bunch of people live in there. And like a couple times, like especially the other night, we, me and my brother were outside and it's a two-story house. So their windows like face my house. And my brother came like running up the driveway and he's like, someone was just like, looking at me through the window up there and when I turned around and looked they like hurried and shut it and walked away and I've caught them doing that a couple times too so I don't know if they're like spying on us or what's going on but yeah it's kind of scary so I'm surrounded by crazy neighbors I know this was a shorter video, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know if you want another video like this. Leave it down in the comments and make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. I'm actually going to the Roosevelt Hotel tonight to do an overnight investigation, so that'll be super fun. You don't want to miss out on that. So go check out all my social medias. I'll leave them linked down below. I post all the crazy neighbor stuff on my TikTok every single night, so make sure you go follow me on there. It'll be linked down below. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.